Hello. Back when I was a sophomore in high school, something happened. So basically what happened that there was these practically two girls who claimed I was stalking them or whatever. And that was possibly positive. The fact is, they're crack wars. They put me out, they made fun of me. And then just kind of, uh, thing is, the vice principal, Kip Kane, at school, Washington High School, in Fremont, wherever, saw a bored and thin boy that just kind of had some mental health problems over some crack wars. I just want to go to sex and drugs. And there's nothing to be better my experience in that school. But yeah, when went and jumped for a bunch of crack wars. The thing is, a lot of older people, a lot of older men, are this fetish for young girls. And so, just go, if a girl says something, they jump on, I don't know, it's seen all dementia or whatever. Something about young women makes them want to believe them 100%. Me, which is the young boy at the time, was a bad person. Did nothing to want to. Nothing to want to um, better there to treat them better. Her names are Sarah and Rachel Peterson. They're both both twins. They're crack wars. Literally just crack crack wars. They experience ruined the rest of my life. Wouldn't had all the problems I've had. Wouldn't for the way this school handles the situation. And maybe sign some funny behavioral contract. I think that's really a solvent thing. They even let me defend myself whatever it is. Cooked in, gave me the runaround. And all the other people that made fun of me at school taught me to be mean, taught me to be nasty. Who believe said that I'm gonna be a murderer, which I never did, but said I'm gonna be a murderer, said I'm gonna be a crook. What's the point? Ever since maybe was it um Columbine. Ever since Columbine in the late nineties or early two thousand ninety nine, two thousand or something like that. He pointed me out and said, you are going to be the next person to do that. Eventually he said so many times I believed it. Good point. I treat people so bad. I treat them the normal person. And me, the person that can have all the problems in life, the one they pick on and get rid of them. They ain't done this for me. Well, I finally told them what they did. They said, oh, they're kids. They're learning. But they don't think about me learning. Because he's giving me a lobotomy years later. That happens. I want to so, Kip King wants so much to be in a really emotionally disturbed program. And he tried to get me in there, and they got me in there for a while. And then, they went and saw what's 
this hall wasn't right fit, so it went to the principal, his superior. And uh, got me out of there. Due to the principal, the superior got me out of there. I'm glad they did because I was suffering. I didn't need that program. These counseling is what I needed. But I did get counseling, but. <coughs> but still, the revolutionary girl and young boy that who would grow a crack for and the young boy that had problems, liver problems, who had been kicked on all the time. Hold me around the rest of my childhood. Now, these things are better now. I still have that resentment of being singled out as a kid. <coughs> 